Hi guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Saturn games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the free emulator we're using in today's video called RetroArch. What you need to do is come here, come to the download section, and we're going to be downloading the latest stable build. At the current moment, it's 1.9.0. However, whenever you're watching this, I'd recommend downloading whatever the latest stable build is at the time you're watching. Or if you have a specific operating system, feel free to download any of the other versions down here below as well. Once RetroArch is downloaded and installed, we should open it up and be in the main menu right here. What I'm going to be doing is clicking on the load core option here at the very top. And here We'll see a list of all currently downloaded cores inside RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down here until we see the download a core option. And here we'll see a list of all currently available cores that we can download for our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down here until we see Sega. And here we'll have a couple of options for our Sega Saturn. We will have Beetle Saturn, we will have Yabashara Nira, we'll have Yabus, and we'll have Kronos. Now, depending on the game or software you're trying to play for the Saturn, any one of these cores might perform better than the other. So it might require a little bit of experimentation to see what core works best for you. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Beetle Saturn core. However, you should keep this with a grain of salt. I'd recommend experimenting with these. If one is giving you issues, another might work perfectly and vice versa. Download and install a core. You simply select it with the A button on your controller or left click it with your mouse. Some text will appear at the bottom left to say downloading. And once this text disappears, your core should be installed. You can confirm it's installed once you see the blue hashtag on the right hand side of your core right here. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here by clicking the B button on your controller or right clicking on your mouse. We're then going to be clicking on the load core option one more time. And we're going to be selecting the core that we just download which is the Beetle Saturn core right here. If we click this on the bottom left we will know our core is fully loaded once we see Beetle Saturn showing up right here. Now one thing to keep in mind for the Sega Saturn core we will also need a BIOS to be able to run this. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description down below so you can see some more information. Depending on the type of files and the type of games you're playing you will need to have a BIOS file so if you come to this link you'll get some more information about the Beetle Saturn core and we can also get some information about the Boost core in case you want to experiment with that as well. So here you can see the different BIOS files you need along with the description about what each of them does. So if you'd like to have a little bit more information, feel free to read through this. And the next step we're going to be doing is actually adding some BIOS files to RetroArch to be able to play our Sega Saturn games. So for what most people want to do is probably playing US and EU games. You are going to be looking for the mpr.bin BIOS file right here. Otherwise, other people that are probably looking to play some Japanese games will need the sega101.bin file here as well. Now I will be mentioning in today's video, you will also need to locate to and download your own BIOS files. Again, a quick Google search will help you out with this. However, these are the different types of files you will need depending on what you actually want to play inside your Sega Saturn emulator for today's video. So I currently have both of my BIOS files here, the US and EU one, along with the Japanese one. Again, I won't be leaving any links in the description down below. However, it is really easy to find these files. There's a quick Google search with the name will help you out. And now what we need to do is bring these files over to our RetroArch folder. So I would recommend at this point closing down RetroArch. I have mine currently closed at the moment. I'm going to be coming up to your Windows taskbar and I'm just going to be searching RetroArch. And rather than clicking on the app, we're actually going to be going to the RetroArch data folder that shows up here. If we select this open here, we'll get a list of all the files and assets inside our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is coming a little bit deeper in here. We're going to be looking for the system folder. And what we're going to be doing is just dragging and dropping these files in here. So I'm going to be taking both of my BIOS files and I'm just going to be dragging and dropping them into our system file in RetroArch. And just like that, they'll be ready to go. So now we're ready to talk a little bit about games. And I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download any games. Although games are really, really easy to find a quick Google search will help you out. So when you download your games, they will most likely come in a .7-zip or a .rar format. So that means you will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract your games. For today's video, I am going to be using 7-zip. However, both these will be linked in the description down below. And the process with WinRAR is basically the same. So right now my game is in a .rar format. To extract your game, you simply need to right click, hover over 7-zip. We're simply going to be clicking extract files. You will get a pop-up here for 7-zip. We're simply going to be clicking OK. And then this might take a couple seconds to a couple minutes while your game extracts, depending on the size of your game and depending on the PC that you're using. All right, now my game has just been extracted into the Castlevania folder right here. And there's a couple things inside here. I have a .q file and a .iso file. And that's exactly what we're looking for with Sega Saturn. Now, sometimes your games can come in a .bin and a .q file. And sometimes these will work in the emulator. However, they typically cause me more issues than anything else. So I'd always recommend trying to find an ISO file. These seem to be consistently more reliable when trying to play them in the emulator. Now, I will mention while trying to film this video, Beetle Saturn seemed to give me some issues with my Castlevania. 
any game. So I did also install Yaboos and I kept the exact same BIOS files as before and this seemed to fix some issues for this particular game. So this is something to keep in mind that it is worth experimenting with. So for the rest of the video I am going to be using Yaboos. However the install process that I mentioned at the start with Beetle Saturn is still recommended and you can still play around with these other cores depending on the game and if some things are giving you issues. So what I'm going to be doing is reloading my core now that I have my BIOS file and my games ready. I'm going to be selecting my Sega Saturn core right here, the Yaboos core. Simply click it. Again, when your core shows up here in the bottom left, it means your core is ready to go. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the load content option here underneath our main menu. And when this opens up, what we're going to have to do is locate to where our game and ROM is currently downloaded and extracted. Once you've located to your ROM file, here you can actually choose to load it up via the .q or the .iso file, whichever you'd prefer. For today's video, I'm actually going to be loading it via the ISO file. Again, when you select this, if you have any other cores that can access this file type, so in this case a .iso, they will also show up here. However, you can see our topmost core is the current core, and that's the one we're going to be using in today's video, the Yaboos core. If I click this, our game will start to load and play. What I'm going to be doing from this point is just resizing this window. And one nice thing about RetroArch is it'll actually keep the original aspect ratio, so we don't have to worry about any weird distortion or errors. And you can see just like that with all of those settings, we are now playing Sega Saturn games on our PC. Now this was require a little bit more configuration and a little bit more tweaking than some of the other cores as we have to get a BIOS and a very specific one at that. However, it's still relatively easy to set up. Now, once your game is opened up and running, we can actually experiment with some other settings. If we come up here to the top left of RetroArch, we can click on the command option. Here we have some audio options, we have some disk options, and we have some save state options. However, we can open up a full RetroArch menu if we click on the menu toggle right here. And here we get a much bigger list of options. What I'd recommend doing is coming down here to the options tab right here. And here's where we get some core specific options. And you can play around and experiment with these depending on what you're doing. And feel free to mess around in here to make sure you set it up exactly how you need and set up exactly how you want. To get out of the menu, we simply back out of here, click on the quick menu and click resume. And then your game will start to load up again. And just like that, you're going to be able to play Sega Saturn games on your PC. Now, one other thing I would also recommend is connecting up an external controller. It can help make your gaming experience a lot better. And it's always something I would recommend. I won't be showing you in today's video how to do this. However, I will be leaving a link in the description down below. It'll make your gaming experience a lot better in my opinion. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Saturn games on your PC. This is one of the systems that seems to give some more issues than some of the other ones. So you may be experimenting with cores a little bit and trying to download from different sites or extracting in different processes to really get the result that you want. So don't be afraid to experiment a little bit here. And if you have any issues, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help out as much as I can. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Saturn games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.